Hey everyone, Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Hey, before we get started on today's video, like I do before almost all my videos, I wanted to just say a big thank you for everybody for supporting Primal ATC and supporting Primal Athlete Training Center. Um, we've been getting a ton of emails, a lot of people signing up for our newsletter, people just like you who need help with their throwing events, need help with their training. All right, coaches who are out there that maybe aren't experts, but really enjoy the sport, really love the sport, and want to continue to educate themselves about the sport of track and field, and uh, you know, especially the throwing events, get them to become better coaches, help their kids, and really create and build up track and field as a great sport here in this country, in the US. Now, to continue what we've been talking about the past couple of days, we are still working on getting out of the back of the shot put circle when you are in the rotational uh, style of throwing the shot. The first day we talked about the three L's, as they like to be called. Staying low in the back, getting left, or shifting your weight, and now the third part, getting long. Now, this is a part which, this is normally for a beginner thrower or someone who's just starting out with the ro ro rotational technique, this is where it starts to fall apart. Yesterday, in my video, I talked about how sometimes athletes won't shift their weight and they'll just kind of fall and dump back, just kind of fall backwards into that circle. This plays a big part of it, okay? Staying low is typically pretty easy. Keep the knees bent, stay low, nice athletic ready position. Getting left is a little bit tricky because not only do you have to shift the weight where balance is going to come into play, but also you have to be patient with the timing. Today we're going to talk about getting long. And when we talk about getting long, we talk about having the feet spread as far apart as possible once this right foot leaves the ground. Let me show you what I mean. So we're down in position, we're low, okay, we shift our weight. So like we did yesterday, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open with the knee, so we're gonna lead with the left knee and shift our weight to the left side. Okay, so that's low, left, and now at this point, we're gonna keep shifting our weight so much that the right leg is going to push and come off of the ground, come out of that cement circle. The thing to watch out for, what you really want to make sure happens, is that the feet stay as far apart from each other as possible. Let me show you how it looks first, and then I'm going to explain why this is such an important thing with the ro rotational shot put. Low, okay, we're going to go left and long. So it's low, left, long. This is such an important thing. Next week we're going to cover driving down the middle. Okay? If you think about sprinting, if you think about running, if you think about swinging a baseball bat, kicking a field goal, throwing a punch, you never do half motions. Okay? No one kicks a field goal just by starting halfway and kicking a field goal. There's an approach where they walk up to it and they explode into that kick. Nobody throws a punch just by extending their elbows a little bit. You want to come from way behind and throw that punch. Runners, they always talk about stride length. That is one of the things that, that translates into their speed. Runners that take short little choppy steps, maybe they're fast, but the longer your stride length, the more kick you have and the more drive you have when you run. When we talk about stride length, when we talk about coming from all the way back, okay, what we're talking about is bringing a full range of motion. The reason why it's so important to stay long is because eventually we're going to be turning and from this point driving down the middle of that circle. 
So to get the best drive down the middle of that circle, we need to make sure that we can put our entire leg into it. If you just short, choppy little step, if you turn, if you get left, and then just do a little step, a little turn where your feet are really close together, you're not going to have any drive. You're not going to have any force. You're not going to be able to bound down that circle. The further apart your legs are, the further apart your feet are, the more torque, the more whip, the more drive you can get as you bound down that circle. So that's what I wanted to cover today. It's a really small thing, but it's something that's going to take you a lot of practice to get the hang of, and it's something that's very important, it's something that needs to happen. What we're going to do is continue with the rotational shot put series here. We're going to do about three videos a week, still answering questions. We're going to get some great questions in. I'm going to answer one of those for you tomorrow. But we're going to continue taking this step by step, little step at a time. Okay? This way, it's the summertime. This is the off season. You can literally take a day or two days just to work on one aspect of the throw. Maybe one day just to work on staying low. Maybe one day to work on staying left. One day to work on staying nice and long. If you try to do this all at the same time, that's where bad habits happen. Okay? So we want to make sure that we're taking this little by little. It's the off season. You have plenty of time. Maybe you're going to one or two meets this summer, just little invites and things like that. But you guarantee you're not going to have one or two meets a week like you did during the in-season. So this is when you have the spare time. This is when you have the extra time to get in the circle. This is when you should be working as hard as you can, mastering the little things. Because as we all know, when you master a lot of little things, big things happen. Guys, thanks so much for your support for PrimalATC.com and Primal Athlete Training Center. Make sure you keep sending in those questions. Make sure you keep letting all your friends and your teammates and your colleagues know that PrimalATC.com is the place where throwers can come to learn more about their sport and more about training for track and field.